Hi everyone, my name is Celeste. If we haven't met before, I'm the homeschooling mom of three boys. This year, my husband and I have an eighth grader, a sixth grader, and a fourth grader. Recently, in our mid-year evaluation video, I shared that this year we are using a brand new science, new to us, for our sixth and fourth graders. This is the second edition that has come out of this curriculum. It is designed for third to sixth graders. So we are currently using it with our fourth grader and with our sixth grader. Our eighth grader is using a different science, which I talked about in our mid-year eval as well. This is one out of four in kind of a series of the Christian Kids Explore Science. There is The Earth in Space, which is authored by Stephanie L. Redmond. There are three more books, which are Christian Kids Explore Chemistry, Christian Kids Explore Creation Science, and Christian Kids Explore Physics. And those three books are all authored by Robert and Elizabeth Ridian. So we are currently at the end of this book. We are currently in the final unit and it has been so great. The boys have enjoyed it so much. And I shared in our mid-year eval that they've enjoyed it so much that they requested to be able to do another one of the studies for next year. So you will look inside, kind of like a flip through and then I'll show you how we kind of lay out a typical week and using this curriculum within our homeschool. Okay, so when you open up the book, um, the first thing you're going to find is that there is a download code for your digital companion guide. So I'm also going to show you a look inside. Um, I've printed it out and that's what I have here. I will say, however, that there is um, there are a lot of elements from the companion guide that are actually incorporated right into this, this text. I'll show you the pieces that are not included so that you see and can determine whether you know, it's worth um, print, reprinting everything. Honestly, I didn't know there was duplicates of a lot of the things. So if I would have known, I would have probably printed less just because a lot of the information on the companion guide is also available right in the back of the book. But I'll show you what I mean. When you open up the book, the first thing you see is the table of contents shows there are six units in this course. So you have unit one, which is getting started. Unit two, which is the lithosphere. Have unit three, which is the hydrosphere, unit four, which is the atmosphere, unit five is Earth's weather, and then unit six is beyond Earth. So if you notice, this course is entitled Earth and Space, but the first five units actually deal with Earth, and just the final unit deals with space. So just to give you an idea of how the content is laid out throughout the course. There is also an appendices in the back of the book. And this is the section that I mentioned that has a lot of the items that you find in the downloadable companion guide. So a lot of that is already in this book in the appendices. Um, but I'll show you a look at that in the back. Here the author does put a how to use the book section explains that there are 24 lessons split within six units. So again, this, depending on how much you want to do, this could be used for half a year. So for a semester, or you have 24 lessons and six unit reviews that if put together, you would have enough material to cover science for 30 weeks if you decide to do it twice a week, which is what we have done for this year. Um, so she does have here of what a daily lesson could look like if you decide to do science, as I mentioned, twice a week. She has a sample of Tuesdays and Thursdays. We kind of adjusted this a bit as I tend to do with almost every curriculum. I always make, I'd make small adjustments just to make it work better for us. So I'll show you more of how we use it for us. So when you get into unit one, um, there's always a timeline in the front that she just gives a few dates. She also has a copy of the coloring page. So there is a coloring page for every single unit. So there are six units. There are six really awesome coloring pages. And so what you're able to do is copy this and give one to each of your students and, um, they can color it as you're working on the unit. What we do is while I'm reading the lesson, they're actually coloring the sheets. So that's an idea that you can do. So she has a, in this lesson, what you will do and then their teaching time. So what we have done is the first day or day one is teaching day. So that's the day that I read the lesson. As I read the lesson, the boys are coloring their coloring sheet. If you notice the lessons are not very long at all. Um, so I read them aloud. And also what I do is I give them their memory verse. So there are some memory verses and I'll show you that in the back of the book in the appendices. 
The next day is the hands-on time. So there's always an activity that she has that you can do. Some of them use worksheets that are included. Some of them you'll just need a few materials, um, but there is always that activity that you can do. We sometimes do them, we sometimes don't, or sometimes I'll make up my own or depending, right? Um, but you can check if you'd like to do them. But I'm just gonna do a quick flip through so you can get an idea of how it's laid out. If you notice, the lessons are not long at all, but I really like the style of writing um, that she has for each of the lessons. The way that she writes is very conversational, um, so which is really nice. So just to give you an idea, at the beginning of unit two, she has this timeline that you can decide. We really haven't done much with this timeline, but you can decide to incorporate it into your learning. She also provides a full list of all the vocabulary terms that will be used. Again, we didn't use this master list very much. We kind of just went through our vocabulary as we worked on the lesson. She also has the materials needed for this unit as well. If you decide to do all of those additional activities, this is the coloring sheet for unit two. So oh, here is um, one of the lessons. So this is lesson three, which is plate tectonics. And so you see here um, the lessons, how a lesson is laid out. One thing that's really nice is that on the sides are all the vocabulary. So they're actually right on the side. And so what I have decided to do, the way that we do it is on day one, I read them the lesson. And then on day two, I actually write all the vocabulary terms on the board and we play kind of like a Jeopardy game. And so um, that's kind of our review. So day one, I'm reading the lesson. Day two, we're doing either this hands-on activity or we're doing a review game. So it's very simple. It's very open and go. It requires very little prep, um, except for the occasional printing of something. Um, but I, I, the boys have learned so much and they really have enjoyed using this. It's also been very easy on me as a teacher because of the fact that there's very little prep kind of on my end. So I'll just show you a look inside kind of the rest of the book. At the end of every unit, there is a show what you know, which is pretty much like a quiz. Um, you can use this as a review or if you keep grades, you can also use this as a quiz. So that is available at the end of every single unit. So that's incorporated right into this book as well. Okay, at the back of the book, I'll show you the different components there. There is a glossary that has all of the different terms and vocabulary words throughout the course. So the glossary is right in the back. And then you get into the appendix. Appendix A are all the reproducible maps, forms, and illustrations that you will need for the course. So this is an example of some of the different um, maps and the different forms. There is this daily reading sheet, which is really great that you're able to use kind of as um, that your child can do every time you start a new lesson. You can give them this and they can go ahead and write, you know, what they learned, what they enjoyed most about it, what they didn't know, new vocabulary. So I've used this for some of the lessons, some of them I haven't, but it's there for you if you'd like to. There's also a field trip journal in case you take some field trips that correlate with the course of study. Um, your student can work on this field trip journal as well. There are check it out forms for any experiment that you do. And there are some fun experiments. For example, we made a volcano, which was really fun. That was a fun experiment. And there's some great ones there. Um, and there's also a write about it unit wrap up, which you can use for review in preparation for their unit tests or unit quizzes. So that's available as well. And these are the rest of the forms. Um, that you will use throughout the course. All right, Appendix B are the memorization lists. Um, these are provided and she says that you can use them if you would like. We really didn't use them. I feel the boys learned so much just as we were learning and discussing and reading through the lessons. So we really didn't use this appendix at all. Uh, appendix C is the scripture memory that I mentioned. So um, 
They are scripture memory cards. So for every lesson has one memory verse. I decided to use this as extra credit. So when the boys um, take their end of unit test, I give them opportunity to be able to recite these verses and I give them extra credit for every verse they're able to recite. Um, but you can decide to do it as you would like. You can just have them choose one or two verses per unit to memorize, or you can have them memorize all of them. I printed these out and we kind of just made a little um, booklet um, for for that. Appendix D is the coloring pages. As I mentioned, they have these in the beginning of every unit. They are also available all together here at the back of the book. So you're able to copy these for your students and they can color, color them as well. Appendix C is recipes and supplemental activities. So these are just some of the activities that correlate with the hands-on time. As I was editing, I noticed I lost the footage um, to the last two appendix. I just wanted to quickly show them to you here. Appendix F is how to make a folder book, which is an optional activity that's included in case you'd like to make a folder book or a lap book. They're also called in order to review at the end of each unit. And then Appendix G is just an additional book and resource list that she provides. There are many great books um, that you're able to add in at, for independent reading or just for some additional reading and resources, some related literature and things like that. So at the very end of the book, then there is the index with all the terms in the course. Okay, so this is a quick look inside the digital companion guide. As I mentioned, a lot of the information you can find in the back of the book. So something that is available are lesson plans for the teacher. So here it gives you an example. As I said, day one is your kind of teaching day and day two is either your hands-on experiment day or your review day for every lesson. So it gives you an idea of discussion questions that you can use when you start a new lesson. So I do like these. I have to say this, it has been great to have these lesson plans and I do use them. So this is the one section that if you were going to print from the companion guide, I would say that is definitely beneficial to have this here. The next section is student lesson plans. This pretty much is the same exact thing as the teacher, except it doesn't have a lot of the um, Kind of answers so this is better if you're going to be having your student work more independently on this course you can print these out and they can track their own work so i have not really used these and again um, because i'm using more the teacher ones the rest of the printouts that are available in the companion guide are pretty much just a duplicate of what you can find in the back of the book so again i would not really bother printing all that but i definitely recommend if you'd like to print out the teacher's guide and if you choose to do that um, additional book activity with the big wave you could print that out as well so we just used a three ring binder so that our students could um, put their different activities and their work this is an example of one of the coloring pages um, that he worked on this was kind of um, another activity that they did as well so Okay, so that is a look inside the Christian Kids Explore Earth and Space curriculum. Again, we've enjoyed it. It's worked very well for us. If you have a favorite science curriculum that works well for your family, be it elementary or middle school or even high school, please comment below. I pray that you and your family are well. I pray you are blessed. I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I look forward to talking to you soon.